In an effort to expand our opportunities for you to connect with your suppliers, um, we have a new integration that I just want to outline and show you how robust the supplier is. Um, it's Ultram. So Ultram is a great European uh, import specialist on aftermarket parts as well as some OEM parts. So I'm just going to walk you through quickly how to be able to look up, transfer back to your management, uh, to your gem car, and be able to apply your pricing structure uh, that you operate inside your business. So you can search by license plate. I put in a, a BMW in here, just BMW 123 is a license plate, or you could search by the customer um, and then find the vehicle by the customer. So here I've got a BMW and I'm gonna be looking for some parts. The customer is asking me for maybe a brake service. So I put in my job codes, BRA, I hit a right arrow. I can actually select replace front brakes and then I wanna put a quote together. So here I have my labor procedure, 1.3 for my time. And this is so you don't forget the additional items that you may need to have, uh, cotter pins, grease, and stuff. And now I'm just going to go to Ultram right here and down on my point of sale buttons. We'll auto load, um, go to their website. We push the VIN, all the information. It logs in automatically and gives you the ability to just verify the vehicle here by the VIN number. So uh, I just confirm that it that is the BMW that I'm working on. I say yes, great. And I go here to front brakes. Let's say that we want to use um dimmer, so we'll put one. Let's order one of these. And we'll get rotors. We'll take two rotors. Front. Okay. And we'll add them to the cart. So you can continue to uh add to your cart so that if you have multiple delivery times during the day, you're gonna be able to actually see them and build up your runs, or if you get hot shot delivery, which they offer in most marketplaces that they're in. Basically here, I just want to review my cart. And the reason you do this is because if somebody else is ordering a complete engine rebuild and you don't want to transfer it back to your quote, but on the top here where gem car is still running, I'm up on the top left, I can select the items that I'm bringing back and I can apply my price matrix. So if I go through and I look, now I have the brake pads, the rotors, I can apply my parts matrix so I can update my pricing. So I have pricing integrity throughout my platform and then I can transfer back. In the event that I have, so now I have a fast, quick quote that I could do, but maybe the customer wants an additional service, maybe an oil change as an example. So if I go and I add my labor procedure for my oil change, now I wanna go back and I wanna look up the filters to make sure that I have them. It's still running here in the background, sorry. So if I go through and I say, now I wanna continue shopping. So if I wanna go back and continue shopping, let's say we wanna look up, uh, filters for this vehicle. So I can go to, let's go back to, parts, we'll take my vehicle again. And maybe you stock your filters so you have a quality, uh, let's see, so we've got two air filters. Okay, so we're gonna take both, left and right. Um, and have an air filter. Let's say they wanted the oil change. So we're going to take a, because I stock Mal oil filters as well. So I can add those to the cart. Again, because I want to review the cart before I, before I just dump the ticket onto my gem car. As you can see, now I have five items here. So when I select the button to decide what I'm going to bring back in my quote, I can actually see that I stock the oil filter here on the bottom. You can see that it says oil filter, that I have four of them in stock. So this way also you can have your pricing integrity, but you also can manage your inventory. So you're not ordering something if you already have it in, in, in your inventory. So in my case, I could say I'm going to order the two air filters. I'm not going to worry about the oil filter or transfer it back so that it comes onto my quote. Here, when we transfer, the oil filter is black because I have it in stock. I can verify the quantity down here on the lower right, and my two air filters are here. So if I wanted to quote the customer and be able to give them a price for what the brakes and then what the service would be, it'd be 1973 all in with tax.